Control Flow Challenge 2, we will be doing a classic problem, Fizz Buzz. Use a loop to cycle through numbers 1 to 16. Push to the array FB, Fizz in place of numbers divisible by 3, and Buzz in place of numbers divisible, divisible by 5, and Fizz Buzz in place of numbers divisible by both 3 and 5. So we'll start with pseudocoding. Pseudo We're going to write a for loop for looping through the number 16. Then we will need to write our if-else conditionals for which value, value we want to push to FB. And lastly, if we don't want to push fizz, buzz, fizz, or buzz, then we will need to push just the number. So in our final else, we will push, we will push just the number. All right, so now it's time to code. And we'll start with our for loop. So we'll instantiate a, a variable i, set it equal to 1. We'll loop until i has incremented up to up through 16, so right to so that it is still less than 17. And we'll increment i by 1. So here we will write our first if, checking for if the number is divisible by 3 and 5. To do this we'll use the modulo operator which will uh, calculate a remainder and we'll check to see if this remainder is 0 thus proving that i is divisible by 3. We we'll also want to check if i is divisible by 5. If we fall into this condition, we'll want to push to fb the string fizzbuzz. Now we'll write our second. Conditional, checking for if i is only divisible by 3. In which case we'll push fizz. Our next conditional will check if i is only divisible by 5. In which case, we'll push to FB just the string buzz. And finally, we'll, if, none, if we don't fall into any of these conditionals, FB will be pushed. So at the end of this for loop, we will want to console log FB in order to see our output. Excellent. And if we scroll down here, we can check our answers. Looks like green check marks.